Come on, this is great. Wreck, spec, scoot. Wreck, spec, scoot. Okay, I loved every minute of it. And Scoot Henderson just put on a duel against the former face of the franchise. And Scoot came off the bench, which was interesting in its own right. I also want to, for a team, first off, DeAndre Aiden, please run a pick and roll and go downhill more. And the other thing is, I want to say, for a team that has Scoot Henderson and Shaden Sharp, I wish there was more spacing. Bef That's just what I want to say. There would be a lot more success if there was more spacing. Now, 13 points, 4 rebounds, and assist, and shooting 50% from the field, 3 of 4 from 3-point range. Scoot Henderson did not disappoint when he went head-to-head -head against Damian Lillard. And this was his first game second game technically but first game against dame but second game back from injury and everyone's gonna you know try to make fun of scoot for having a slow start we we saw the legit scoot tonight that it, as advertised okay came out confident and obviously damian lillard dropped 31 i know people are gonna be like hey they didn't they didn't win the game who matt who cares okay this was a, a stellar performance in freaking scoot henderson's part he just came out and he really was able to just put on a scoring display and play good defense and just went toe-to-toe -to -toe at times with damian lillard which i think is just impressive in its own right and i loved every every second of it i thought it was one of the more impressive things that we've seen this this week i don't know i just feel like people have ragdolled and made fun of scoot for not being as i guess impactful day one as people thought he would be and i understand being a point guard in the nba at a teenage age is one of the toughest things to do like we're asking these kids to lead an nba offense as if that's something anybody can do let alone a 19 year old kid so for him to come out and play the way that he did was just impressive and it was fun we got to see you know a different side of scoot that i think that's what we were all waiting for and for me when i i saw this game i just thought looking at scoot who he came out hot it was fun because this was obviously Portland, who's had an, an overhaul roster this offseason. The Blazers entered this game ranked dead last in three-point percentage, next to last in field goal percentage, and they shot 52% from the field and 10 of 17 on third, 17 of three-point attempts in the first half. Obviously, in the second half, they fell off, but Jeremy Grant had 22 points and Brogdon at 18. And I think the biggest thing was looking Shaden Sharp, who, you know, he missed a three-point shot at the end of the game. It's just, I think, getting experience in these games will help this team a long way. But they're there, and they're trying to figure it out. And kudos to them. They'll figure it out. It might take a little longer than people would like, but it's going to it's going to happen. And, again, might be a little longer than people would like. What are your thoughts down below?